here in Somerville anyway. We're completely broke, and our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's a great question, and, and the legacy is different for everybody. Uh, for me, it was the legacy that my father was handing me from storyteller to storyteller. This is the greatest film he ever created in 1984, and it was intimidating to pick up where he left off. And it was interesting for me because it's the only movie I've, I've made that I never owned. It never belonged to me. It belonged to Ghostbusters fans from the moment I touched it. And uh, the legacy for me meant the challenge of making something that was worthy of the kind of fanmanship of Ghostbusters. I wanted to make something that whether it was the first time you were seeing a Ghostbusters movie or the thousandth time you're seeing a Ghostbusters movie, I wanted this to be a movie that reminded you of everything you loved about Ghostbusters. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're saying he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. Oh, that's so kind of you. And that's something we thought about a lot and talked about a lot. You know, we wanted to make sure it has everything you recognize and love about Ghostbusters. And that goes beyond the packs and the flight suits and the cars. I mean, we're talking about the music, the sound effects, the tone, uh, and a kind of way that you merge supernatural with this kind of humorous, grounded point of view. But we wanted to merge that with new characters, a new place, a new adventure. Uh, and a new storyline that was less about going into the ghostbusting business and more about three generations of a ghostbusting family. Go, go, go! Great question, and absolutely. There were times on set when I found myself thinking, is this exactly how my father came to the same decision? We were shooting a scene in which these claws come out of the chair and grab you know, an actor, and it was obviously a mirror moment of the moment that happens in 84 with Sigourney Weaver. And I remember thinking, the has, claw has to come up and then down. And I remember thinking, oh, my father did the same thing. I wonder if he arrived at the same conclusion in the same way. So it's little moments like that that made me feel like I was almost like living in my father's shoes.